imagine a red carpet with, you know, RuPaul's Drag Race walking down the same carpet as the MasterChef Juniors, as, you know, the American Ninjas are hanging from the rafters. There's a lot going on. Sharing good news, pop culture too. We got Sydney in the house. Sydney in the house. I'm with Sydney in the house. And my question is for the executive producers and creators of Real Mood, as well as the award show. The award show is in its ninth year and it covers everyone in front of the camera, as well as behind the camera. Um, And the market is large as well as the fan base. And like you said, we're going to do virtual reality this year. So I'm curious what some of your plans are to grow the awards show in the future. This is the first time actually that the awards has ever been in the metaverse. And we kind of are hoping that we start this amazing trend as a proof of concept for the many, many different possibilities that other people can do in award shows. Um, I've been kind of like producing award shows for such a long time. I've done Oscars, Grammys, Emmys, Super Bowl, halftime show, just got my first Emmy this year from it. So I think one of the things that I'm really excited about is taking what we've mastered so well in the unscripted area and transforming it into the metaverse, creating avatars, people using 3D animation and photorealism to make, give a personality to your face and re-emulating really fun, cool concepts, having a dance party, having communications with people. And something that we also are doing is we're also selling NFTs and we're making those NFTs into the award statuettes. Those have never been done before. Imagine having your own metaverse world, your own house party or your whatever, and you won an artist award and you want to brag at home as well as in the metaverse because your statuette is an NFT. And so what we're really excited about is just building more layers onto layers onto layers every single year. This is just like a first proof of concept and it's a really good proof of concept and we hope that we get more adopters on it because the metaverse only works when there's creators in it because what we're really good at is creating memorable moments and that's what we really wanted to do both on streaming and in the metaverse create memorable moments that people can share with their families both in the real world and in the vr space it's also important to add that we started out as a live event um we did it at nightclubs and hot in Hollywood, because that's reality for you. You know, we didn't think anyone would sit like sit all night in a theater appropriately watching a stage. We wanted to give everyone the ability to walk around, meet each other. I mean, reality TV stars are fans of each other. They're watching each other's show. Imagine a red carpet with, you know, RuPaul's Drag Race walking down the same carpet as the MasterChef Juniors, as, you know, the American Ninjas are hanging from the rafters there's a lot going on at our live events uh so we're you know really really hoping and we're actually working on it right now to make sure that year 10 goes back to a live event so darcy and stacy melody vivica can be walking the red carpet and meeting each other and interacting it's there's nothing like it because any other red carpet with actors you don't get to meet the on screen, the on screen, you know, characters, the on screen characters were made up at our awards. The on screen characters are there in person. And there's, I mean, there's really nothing like it. Thank you so much.